Mosada is one of the estimated 30,000 women who were brutalized in the so-called rape factories run by Bosnian Serb forces during the conflict. The soldier told me to take my clothes off. I refused. He aimed a gun at my head, ripped them off me and threw me on the bed. The International Criminal Tribunal for former Yugoslavia has now been closed, leaving Masada and the majority of other victims like her without any justice or chance of returning to a normal life. The man who did this to me got away. He left the country and went to Serbia. It keeps coming back to me all the time. In my trauma, I go to sleep with this criminal every night and wake up with him. Some of the victims have reported seeing the men who raped them walking freely in the streets around them without an apparent care in the world, while they've been given a life sentence of psychological trauma. The international community has spent decades and millions of dollars in its pursuit of the most notorious of the war criminals here. So many others, though, equally guilty and from all sides involved in the conflict, have escaped justice. It means a lot for the victims that the court has established the facts and the main perpetrators. But in just a couple of days, after the emotions settle down over the verdict, they will find that their everyday lives haven't changed a bit. Masada built up the courage to return to the house where she was raped. She hoped seeing where all her fear and horror came from would purge it from her mind. But now she knows only bringing justice and punishment to her rapist will let her begin to heal. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Sarajevo.